at 9 a.m. on your Friday. Friday. Friday is here. Oh. It has been a very long week, it of course, has. in so many different ways. So many different ways. Heavy news. I know, really it's, heavy news. Yeah. So. And you know, I, I can't help but stress enough. Everyone has been talking about this. Here's my little PSA. Yeah. 988. 988. That's that a great is number the number call. you call if you, you know with the news how heavy it's been yep. it's free counseling that's available it's confidential you can text it too if you're having a hard time you do not get a cookie for trying to remain mentally strong okay. please call that number text if you are struggling at all and share that with anyone else who you know may be struggling that's some good advice right there all right let's dive into the headline shall we all right yeah the manhunt in Maine as we've been saying is growing it's really expanding this morning as police continue to serve for the man accused of murdering 18 people during two separate shootings, one big mass shooting in the small city of Lewiston. The shocking violence and extensive search continues to affect everyone who lives in the area. Channel 3's breaking news anchor Roger Suzanne joins us now live from Lewiston to explain what life is like there right now. Roger, how are you? You know, Scott, I'm doing okay, but we just got yet another reminder of just the craziness that's going on here in Lewiston. We just heard choppers up above, a reminder that this manhunt continues this morning. You can also see behind me that police remain here blocking off some streets. The road behind me is actually where one of the two mass shootings here in Lewiston actually took place. And it really is kind of eerie here still, because keep in mind, people that live in Lewiston have still been told that they should shelter in place if possible to stay indoors and lock their doors. And I think everybody's going to remain on edge certainly until the suspect, Robert Card, is actually captured. But that hasn't happened yet. And you know, last night, our crews were there at the scene as a SWAT team surrounded a former home of Robert Card's in Bowdoin, or Bowdoin, Maine, excuse me. And neighbors actually heard investigators yell for Card to come out with his hands up. But when they later searched that house, Card was nowhere to be found. And this morning, he's still on the run. Well, remember, the violence actually started just before 7 o'clock on Wednesday night when police say Card walked right into a local bowling alley and actually started shooting people with an AR-15 style rifle. Minutes later, investigators say Card shot more people at a local bar. In all, 18 people, 17 men and one woman were killed and at least 13 others were injured. Police now say they believe Card may have been targeting a current or former girlfriend. Card is an army sergeant in the reserve and had recently reported mental health issues, including hearing voices, and he had even been committed to a mental health facility recently after allegedly threatening to shoot up a National Guard base. And last night, Card's cousin told Eyewitness News that Card suffers from mental illness. He's got a lot of problems up in his head right now. One of them's uh, uh, schizophrenic. And I don't know if you could hear, uh, could hear just behind me moments ago, we saw a uh, fire truck just drive by with its sirens blaring. We've been seeing a lot of that as emergency responders have been kept very, very busy here in Lewiston. Also, healthcare workers have also been busy. Keep in mind, 13 people injured right now, eight of those folks in the hospital, three people in critical condition. So some of the worst of this may not be completely over as this manhunt continues. By the way, we are receiving word that there should be a press conference later this morning, potentially as soon as 10 a.m. So we'll keep you posted on that. Reporting live in Lewiston, Maine, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Roger. Thank you, Roger. After that, the discovery that Robert Card has undergone recent mental health evaluations and knowing he had past issues, we want to know how he got the AR-15 police say he used in the shooting. Yeah, we have been digging deeper into gun laws both in our state as well as in Maine. Now, every town research shows that there is no extreme risk law in Maine. Those laws can allow law enforcement or family members to ask for a court order that restricts someone in crisis from getting their hands on guns. The state does have a mental health prohibitor and rec uh, record reporting if someone is found to be endangered to themselves or others. Maine also doesn't have laws in place that would generally stop people getting access to assault weapons, such as an AR-15, yeah. or high-capacity magazines. Laws in our state are much more restrictive, and Connecticut does have an assault weapon ban. Now, of course, these are laws here in our state that we 
saw after Sandy Hook. Uh, they strengthen, certainly. It's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out as well in Maine. But we are going to be hearing more from Roger in the next half hour of Great Day at 9A as our team coverage continues as well on Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. If there are any new developments, you will be the first to hear it on air or in the breaking news alert from that Channel 3 app. So keep your phone handy. Ready for record warmth? Yes, we're ready. We, I think you're, you're going to have a great day tomorrow. I, I can't. You couldn't so have planned this any better. We're taking our family photos, yeah. I think, on the beach. You, and you'll be in T-shirts, trust me. <laughs> uh, first alert, live radar. It's dry. There were a couple of, if you look in lower, lower Fairfield County, you might be seeing a sprinkle there. We've got partly to mostly cloudy skies for you out there right now. And according to first alert, futurecast, tomorrow's weather today, increasing amounts of sunshine as we move through the day. I know you're looking out the window right now going, what's this guy talking about? Uh, trust me, the sun is going to come out and it's going to be a beautiful day and those temperatures are going to take off with the southwesterly flow. Now, tonight will be mostly clear and tomorrow, here comes record-breaking warmth. Again, that southwesterly flow continues. So for the remainder of today, those temperatures are a little bit low. I think we're actually going to climb into the low 80s in inland Connecticut, about 74 for the shoreline. Warming trend peaks tomorrow and then Sunday, much cooler with showers developing by about noon. It's going to kind of be a raw day on Sunday with temperatures in the upper 50s.